Hello there! Welcome to my channel and welcome back for those of you who are subscribers. This is going to be your reading for December 1st through December 15th. Happy December! Happy holidays! Happy last month of the year of 2018. Thank you so much for all the likes, subscribes, and comments. Um, I say this every time, but I just love how active you guys are on the videos. It, it truly makes me so happy. Um, if you would like a personal reading, the link is below. It takes you directly to my website. It's very easy to choose the reading that you would like and to book directly there. Also, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. So the link is below. It will take you to my website with um, all the information that you need for for and about the energy therapy. Uh, you can read the testimonials and I have a really special 15% discount for first time energy clients. So be sure to take advantage of that. It's a really great time to be having energy work done. You know, this time of year, we have a lot of family time. Things are very busy, very hectic, lots of social gatherings, lots going on in the mind and things to remember and think of. So the energy therapy is just really gonna help keep you grounded, centered, balanced, Balanced and very peaceful. It's also going to help you release and let go of any um, emotions or thoughts or things from your past that you just no longer need to carry with you into 2019. So again, the link is below. Take advantage of the 15% discount that I do have for first-time energy clients. Uh, you'll also find the link below for Instant Go, which is an easy way to just send me um, a, a simple question if you don't want a full reading. So the link is below for Instant Go. Um, that's it for Shop Talk. We'll get straight into the reading. Hello, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Again, this is for December 1st through December 15th. I've already fully shuffled, so I'm just going to get straight into your reading. there it is. You're showing up in your own reading already. First out, I've got the Nine of Cups and the Two of Wands. This is really beautiful. This shows me that you are in a place of emotional maturity. You're really getting clear of your feelings and what it is that you want. Um, I'm also feeling that, you know, this is a card of like wishes fulfilled and being happy exactly where you are within yourself which is not always an easy thing, right? So I do feel, Scorpios, that you are happy, you're content, you're in a good place emotionally, uh, which is good because in some of my past readings, I have felt you're really, um, sometimes you can really protect those emotions. So I feel like, I feel a confidence within you as far as your emotions and where you're at. And with this Two of Wands, this is a really beautiful card. I feel like the Two of Wands is like, it could be travel. So some of you are going to be traveling. You're going to be looking at what it is that you want to um, create in your life. Sorry, this is how they came out. It's You're going to be looking at what it is you want to create in your life. You know, we are coming to the end of the year. Um, there's a lot of travel that can be happening, but I almost picture this is you like looking into the, the rest of this year and into 2019 and being like, yes, I am in a good place. What do I want to create? What is it that I want in my life? Because look at me. I'm whole and complete. I've been reborn. I've done all the work this year. I've gone through my cycles. It's like you're here proud with your Scorpio flag. Like I'm ready for what's to come, which is a really awesome, awesome place to be in. And I, I, feel, I feel quite a light energy around, around you right now. So let's see what else we've got for you. Okay, wow. Here we are. I love it. So the next card out is the full card. You're ready. Just like what I was saying, you're ready to take a leap of faith. You're ready for that new adventure. You're ready to take a risk, take a chance. 
um, to not hold back. And, you know, the thing with the Fool card is that it can be unattached to the outcome. So it's really more about the journey and enjoying enjoying the process of things. So this is also a travel card. Same with the, is the Two of Wands. So you could be looking at travel, a new adventure, fate, taking a, taking a risk. So whatever taking a risk um, resonates with you, it could be taking a risk in love, taking a risk in a new job opportunity, taking a risk in going out of your comfort zone and maybe sharing your feelings like you haven't shared before, whatever that is for you. But it's just this has a very lighthearted energy around that I'm feeling. And I've also got the judgment card. So this can be a card of reconciliation or lovers coming back together if there has been distance or space between you. So the judgment card can be very much about like a rebirth or a new birth or forgiveness. I just took a huge size. I said forgiveness. Maybe you are letting go of things from the past that you've been holding on to. But regardless, it's like you're handling and taking care of these different aspects of yourself within your life. So in a way, these two go very well together because you're letting go of the old so you can move forward in the new. So you can move forward in this new adventure light-footed and free and ready. And the next card out is the Three of Wands, another travel card. So we've got three cards of travel so far for you, Scorpio. So I do think December is a month where you're either going to be traveling or planning travel. Uh, but it's exciting. The Three of Wands, again, you're looking out over your kingdom like, what do I want to create? And you go from the two to the three. You know, the two is the decision. The three is really putting down the foundation and actually taking action steps to make something happen. So you're already having movement. Again, you're going from decision-making mode to action, to action mode. Like actually taking the steps, you know, booking the flights, booking the hotel, um, booking your plans, whatever that is for you. Beautiful, let me see what else we've got, Scorpio. There it is. Okay, so we've got, oh my goodness, you've got one, two, three, four, five major arcana cards out for you. Lover's card is out. That has come out in almost every single reading that I've done. So first out, we've got the moon. So these are like your deepest inner desires and wishes that have been buried underneath some fears or anxieties that you may have had. I do, Scorpio, feel like you've worked through a lot of these fears and anxieties or you're in a place to recognize that's just a fear. I'm not going to let that stop me anymore. And I do, because the lover's card is next, I do feel that this is um, regarding matters around the heart because you're ready to take the risk, to take the chance, to let fate guide you. You've gone through the work within yourself. You're laying down the foundation of taking actions towards the ultimate partnership you've been dreaming about. The ultimate partnership that you have been dreaming about. You know, the lover's card is like the ultimate partnership. It's a team. It's divinely guided. It's deeply connected and rooted in love and connection. It also helps you to learn things about yourself. That's the most powerful part of the lover's card is it's a reflection. This type of a re um, relationship is a reflection of you and the other person. So um, the actions of your partner are really a reflection of yourself. So you can learn so much from being in this type of a relationship. And also like finding that balance of equal giving and receiving, right? Not being taken advantage of, not giving more than you should be, and not receiving more than you are giving. It's finding that perfect balance, right? So beautiful reading, Scorpio. I really feel, yeah, you're starting out just in a really solid place within yourself and you're ready to make those decisions and make things happen. And then with like, you know, you as the death card, the fool, the judgment all in a row, it's like, 
rebirth, growth, foundation, newness, excitement. You're ready to go. Here you are taking action. You're not letting the fears stop you because the connection is just too strong. The lover's card is too strong to get stopped by fear. So I feel because of your emotional maturity right now, you're in a place to recognize that it's just fear. And that underneath that fear is your deepest desires and wishes, which for Scorpio, I mean, you guys love um, partnership and loyalty and connection and love. You really do. Um, and that's what's coming for you. I truly, truly feel that. So let me see if there's any last message for you. came out in the last one so I'm going to pull one more just to be safe. Okay so the first message out for you is music. So I do I feel the first message that came through is celebration for you. It's like just dance. You're in a good place. You have like every you have the you have the world in your the palm of your hand. You have a beautiful love and partnership waiting for you. You know, the music is also a way to quiet the mind so that your thoughts don't sabotage things. It really, you know, the music brings the vibration into the body, into feeling it there physically. And the last message is blessings. You are being blessed, Scorpio. You're being showered in blessings, I feel like, um, you know, in the first half of December. And I do feel it's going to continue for you into 2019. So I'm excited for you. I hope this resonates with you. If it didn't, you can please watch your moon sign or your rising sign. Uh, the link is below if you would like a personal reading. And also I am a master energy therapist. So I specialize in distance energy healing. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world and uh, the link is below with all the information on my website and a really special 15% discount for first-time energy clients. So please take advantage of that. Also, thank you for your comments and your likes on the video. I'm not able to respond to every comment, but I do read every single one, and I'm very grateful for you taking the time to do that. So that's it for now, Scorpio. Take care, and I will see you back here for the second half of December readings.